Hello everyone, this is Albert with Parting Pro and today I'm going to talk about what to do if your competitor is doing the old bait and switch. So this is a pretty common problem that a lot of funeral homes bring with me, I would say pretty regularly. Uh, essentially what's a uh, uh, competitor may be advertising or quoting families a certain price point that is substantially lower or, or let's just say different from the price that the family would typically end up paying, right? So this could happen if, let's say, for example, they're asking for a direct cremation price and your competitor will quote the price, but well, this price might not include uh, maybe the alternative container or the removal fee or mileage or sometimes even a crematory fee in the quote, right? So oftentimes this low price that they're getting quoted is a deciding factor on whether or not they choose to work with your competitor. And then the problem is when your family calls you and, and, uh, and they ask you for pricing, you give them the all-in price. So the family isn't really comparing apples to apples, right? And by the time they find out about all the extra fees, it's usually too late because your competitor already has their loved one in their, in their care, right? And the frustrating part about this is a lot of times your price might actually be the same as or even lower than your competitor's price uh, after you include all the fees uh, and all the fees I've been accounted for. So, um, Another problem is there's probably a lot of important benefits that your family is missing out on by going with your competitor um, that they don't know about, right? So I think almost everyone has a story where a family has called them, shopped their pricing, didn't really listen to your explanation, and then went to a competitor. Then later, after finding out about all the fees, they call you back and they ask you for help because they're so frustrated with, their, with your competitor, right? And oftentimes at this point, it's a little bit too late because the loved ones already in their care and they've, uh, they, they have to pay again for transportation and you're just sitting there, you know, going like, man, I told you so. Right. So, um, what to, why is this happening and how do you prevent this from happening? Right. So why is this happening? Uh, if you haven't seen my other video on the power dynamics between buyers versus sellers, you should check that one out. But to summarize the power dynamics between a buyer and a seller have really changed uh, over the last couple of years and it has shifted to the buyer because uh, of internet technology and how available information is these days, right? So a lot of consumers are now more fickle. They want information right away. They have less patience for you. So even though you try to explain everything to them over the phone when they call, there's often times where they're not really listening to you or don't even give you the opportunity to explain everything, right? And even though there are a lot of things that they need to consider, they don't know about it because they don't know what to ask for. And they also won't listen to you if you try to explain it to them. So, uh, you know, one example could be, you know, maybe the family doesn't need to, the family will need to wait five hours for removal to the competitor, but with you, it's, they don't have to wait at all, right? Maybe you have an in-house crematory and they don't, or you include it in your package and they don't, right? Um, so this is 100% a communication issue, right? You have the better option, but the families don't understand it. Um, so, you know, family, family's better off with you, but they don't know it, right? So the question is, do you keep doing what you're doing and hope the family will somehow change and start understanding you? Or do you want to change your process, right? So obviously the more financially rewarding uh, answer is to change your process. So how do you prevent this from happening? Uh, number one, you want to fully, first fully understand what your competitor's pricing is. Uh, right? And all the details of it. So basically you need to find out if their price is even higher than yours, right? And based on this result, you may want to adjust your messaging. Uh, sometimes I talk to a funeral home and they're telling me, Hey, I'm losing cases left and right because of the bait and switch. Uh, but when I talk to them, they don't even really know what the details of their competitors offer is. So a good first step would be, Hey, first understand everything about your competitor's pricing to see if you're actually cheaper than them. Because if you are cheaper than them, it makes it easier. If you're not, no worries about that either. Just go to step two. And step two is to come up with the competitive, uh, come up with all your competitive, competitive advantages in a family-centric format. So this will be that list of all the things that you offer that are objectively better and maybe worth the extra cost if, for example, you're more expensive after doing step one. And I'm sure you probably already know this list of, list of information, but the problem is you need to rethink this in a more customer centric format. So for example, you know, let's say you tell your families you've been around for 50 years, right? 
who cares? Like, how does this affect your family? You own your own crematory, okay? Who cares? Like, how do you explain to your family how this affects them? Uh, let's say you're a full service funeral home and they're just a storefront. You know, what does this actually mean to the family? Uh, you know, we're local and we're family owned. You know, who cares? Why does this affect me, me being the family? So these are all things that need to be spelled out uh, very clearly to the family. Uh, I would say you even want to over explain these things, right? Because they don't understand, they don't buy cremation every day. They don't really understand how it benefits them. Uh, okay, and then now on to step three, uh, understand how to communicate this information effectively, right? So even after you fix your message, our problem is that the family isn't spending the time to listen or even understand your explanation, right? So we need to think about how the family takes information in. If you're having trouble having people listen to you over the phone, then maybe you need to adjust this process, right? So for example, I would suggest that you lay these points out directly on your homepage. If you're losing business to a competitor on a regular basis for a communication issue, this is an important issue in terms of dollars you can gain from fixing it, but it's actually also a very important, I mean, a very easy issue to solve, right? Uh, a lot of funeral homes for some reason are scared of sharing information online. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. I think it's because not many people are doing it. But think about this, right? This is information that you wish you want, you hope that every family that ever called you would have, right? In fact, this is probably information that you wish that even families that don't call you would have. So why not make that possible? Why not customize your website so that it does exactly what you need it to do, uh, which is to communicate more effectively with your potential customers. So anyone who sees your homepage should completely understand your value and the value that you offer within the first 20 seconds of your page. Um, and you can get creative behind you how you want to lay this out. So maybe uh, you can have all your important benefits listed, listed right up front in bullet point form, or you can have your price uh, price chart with all your competitors' pricing and details listed out. Uh, if you want, even if you don't want to be that aggressive, maybe you could have a video uh, up front that just has you explaining how pricing works, right? Explain how fees and extra costs work, and you train your families on on how to ask or what to ask your competitors about these fees so you set the stage up you lay those traps for your competitors right um, so even if the families don't call you or haven't called you yet you successfully convey that information that they need to choose and figure out how to choose what's best for them so in summary to solve this problem you first need to acknowledge that this is a communication issue and to, and to fix this issue you need to create a very clear message uh, and how that benefits your family, right? And then finally, you want to be able to explain or convey this information in a very effective format that your family understands. Uh, okay, so I have another video on a framework on how to uh, think about fixing your website. So you can check that video out. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Hope this helps. Thanks.